Okay, when your drawing is done, we are ready to paint. So let's talk about the materials you're gonna need. You're going to need your paint palette. You will want a brush and a um, palette knife. It just kind of looks like a plastic um, knife. Both of these are located by the sink. And you are going to want an ice cube tray of paint. Um, yes, these are kind of messy a little bit, but we're gonna use them up. These paints are located on the silver cart um, by the rainbow wall that is the puzzles on top of it. So um, these are on the second shelf. So when you are doing this, um, the first thing that you'll want to do is pick one value, one shade um, color that you're going to be using and just mix that color. So for instance, if I want to focus on this color, I want to mix this color first and I'm just going to find all of those areas to start painting it in. Um, so as we do that, um, you are going to take your palette knife and you are just going to directly scoop from here into here. And as you swap colors, wipe off with your paper towel and do your best to mix the closest combination of color that you can. And I'm gonna add. So what I would recommend to you as you do this, do a little bit as, at a time because you can see how much just adding one color can really, really change that combination. Um, so our goal is to get these as almost as precise as we can. I realize that sometimes you're not going to be able to, but that's okay, just do your best. And then, um, after you have that done, you have to be really careful with colors like black because that will really, really overpower. Okay, so once you've mixed your color as best you can, really you just kind of put it next to your paper. Um, my color, I we should spend more time mixing this, but you guys will get the idea here. But you can see, I want this to be almost that same, um, that same exact color there. So then from here, all you're going to do is carefully start painting in and kind of filling in the map. Now, when we do this, we need to do a really good job of not, we need to do a really good job of not just, um, we don't want to scrub with our paintbrush. We want to make sure that we're doing nice sweeping motions and it's okay to just paint right on top over those grid lines like you see me doing here. Um, if you need to put those down to kind of help you figure out where those spaces are, that is fine, but you're just going to start filling in your spaces um, kind of like a puzzle. When you are done with class today, what you need to do is you need to scrub both of these things out, put them away at the sink, um, put this back, um, the paint, put the paint back on the metal cart and you will want to rinse out your paint palette and just put that in the, your bin and you can go ahead and put your paintings then on the drying rack, okay?